In this video we are going to study bones of axial skeleton. Let's start with the skull. The skull is a bony case that consists of two parts. Posterior or cerebral part. And anterior or facial part. The cerebral part consists of eight bones that form a cavity that encloses the brain to protect it. At its base there is a foramen magnum, through which brain is connected to the spinal cord. The anterior parts consists of 14 bones, including face bones, the two jaws, position of sense organs as ears, eyes, and nose. Let's move to the vertebral column. Vertebral column is the axis of the skeleton. As its upper part is attached with the skull. At the thoracic region is attached with the thoracic cage. And two upper limbs by shoulder bones. While its lower part is attached with the two lower limbs by pelvic girdle. Vertebral column is composed of 33 vertebrae. That are divided into. 7 cervical. 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, and 4 coccygeal. Cervical vertebrae are located in the neck region, and they are articulating vertebrae with moderate size. Thoracic vertebrae are also articulating with larger size than cervical, and they are located in the thorax. Lambra are the largest vertebrae present in the abdominal region. They are also articulating Sacral vertebrae are fused and flat, while coccygeal are fused and small in size. Let's talk about the thoracic cage. The thoracic cage consists of 12 pairs of ribs. These ribs are connected posteriorly with 12 thoracic vertebrae at the centrum and transverse process of the vertebra. The first 10 pairs only are connected anteriorly to the sternum while the last lower two pairs are short and don't reach the sternum. So they are called floating rib. 